everyone. How's everyone doing today? I am in my spot this morning. Had to take my son to work. So I decided I'll grab me some, some breakfast today. And because I, 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 well, I should have went on and got my little dye. I got to dye my hair. Because I want to bring the new year in with my color on my head. Not with all this gray on my head. But anyway, y'all. I, um. So I decided I'd get me some breakfast from Jack's. Which is my place that I normally go. And the other day. When I got my Jack's, I was with my daughter. And I had the same thing, so. I wasn't able to enjoy it like I needed to because we had just got through having a little spat, you know. So, hopefully, well, ain't nobody here to bother me today so I can enjoy it. Hopefully, I enjoy it today. Hopefully, it's good. I got my little um, potato rounds cooked a little harder. That is my gravy biscuit, single gravy biscuit. And as you all know from the other video, I like potato rounds on my biscuit. I got this from one of my best friends. So you put a little, a few of them in there. And these look like they're going to be crunchy too, y'all. So that's, that's this is going to be good. This is going to be good. So, what's going on, y'all? What? What is everybody doing um, for the new year? Is everybody excited that uh, God blessed us to have a whole nother year? I am. I'm, I'm really, I am so thankful to God because I, see, I saw a lot of people in uh, 2020 that are not here anymore. Um, a lot of people that got the... Um, the um what is this on oh, okay a lot of people that got the um the virus they either they suffered from it they got things that that they dealing with after the aftermath or uh, some of them are not even here anymore so i'm thankful i'm thankful that i'm that we made it if you if you look look at this video you made it another year so I'm very, very grateful to God for, for allowing me to be able to still be here in good health, a good sound mind, health and strength. So I'm thankful. I'm very thankful. Lord, I can't see nothing. I can see why. Let me clean these glasses, y'all. But anyway, so I'm very, very thankful for God. So that's telling me that there is something more on this earth that needs to be done uh, and something more on this earth that needs to be done through me. So I'm thankful and grateful that he has chosen me to continue to be on this earth to complete whatever the mission is, uh, whatever my um, purpose here on this earth, he's allowing me to do that. So I'm thankful to that. So but anyway, so I just decided I'd get on here for a minute and um do uh, just say hi to y'all and just you know kind of pop you all up the next coming year you know um uh pop you up and give you a um you know let you see how blessed you are and how to get excited about the next year that god has given you you know what are you gonna do what are your plans what what are your purpose? What are things are you going to change about next year? You know, what 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 are some of those things that you're going to change? Look at, you know, we, we need to look at those things. We don't, just don't need to go into next year and say, hey, you know, it's, it's been a bad year last year. Okay, yeah, maybe it was a bad year last year and year before last. Maybe it was. But you know what? We've been given another another year so we can make it better. We can make it better. We, 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 we have to uh, have to stop. Um denying the power that's within us the power that's in within us we can do all things through him who will strengthen us and help us to be able to get through that so anyway we're blessed for food 
Thank you, Lord. Amen. But anyway, this is the way it look, y'all. The first bite is yours. <laughs> Sorry. I wanted to give you the first bite. It was in my heart. If you had been here, I would have given you the first bite. So, that was put in. Oh, y'all, these crunchy. They are crunchy today. Oh, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all. The other day I had it. They were, they wasn't crunchy. Mm. But today they are. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all may see me. That's the food up in him. Mm hmm. You may see me at the food up in him. Mm. Mm 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 mm. 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 Y'all. I'm not turning all the way around. Thank you, Lord. They're good. It's good. Mm. The other two teenagers, they are at home sleep. When they find out that I only got breakfast and didn't get them none, they're going to be mad. And I'm, I'm just, I just got to rub it in their face. I'm going to make sure I take the bag back with me so they can see that I did have some. I, I, I'm being messy. But y'all, I be messing a nice way. I don't be messing just trying to uh, in an ugly way. I don't, I don't, I don't rock in that. But when it comes to something like that, yeah, I get a little messy. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to take it back and let them see the evidence. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, y'all, y'all. Mm, the crunchy. Mmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. They ain't worry me with these papers now. Whew, I couldn't even know how to get them. But anyway. So how are you all gonna bring New Year in? Are you gonna bring it in with family? Are you gonna bring it in by yourself? Are you gonna bring it in um, going out, partying? Are you going out to church? I used to bring it in in church, but now my, my family and I usually, our tradition usually is at home and we just, um, and that's it, it's a simple, time at home and just thanking God, you know, uh, for bringing, you know, bringing the New Year's in with family. That's pretty much what we do. So what are you going to do? What are you going to cook? The traditional thing is greens, um, black eyed peas. Um, I forgot. Yeah, greens, black eyed peas, and some type of meat. But our tradition for for the last, mm, for the last four or five years, we have been doing green soup, which have all those ingredients in in it. So we normally do green soup. Um and cornbread and and maybe something a little something else but i didn't get enough of my dressing so i'm gonna make some dressing because i can eat dressing by itself and if it's cooked like I, I can eat it cold i can eat it for breakfast i eat it it doesn't matter so i'm probably gonna fix up just a pan a little pan of dressing and uh the green soup I know that I know that don't sound right or whatever soup and in the in the dressing. I never had it like that before. I normally just eat the green soup and the cornbread and maybe a little something on the side because you all you have everything in there. You have all sorts of beans in there, 
Then you have greens. So you you got everything that can flush you out real good. This see to me it's just like the, the first of the year. Just cleansing, like a cleansing. So uh but I, I still want that dressing though. So it can I gotta have that this year anyway. So that's what that's what we're looking like. Um and since it's how I did not get out for Christmas um um sales and stuff. I probably will get out and move around a little bit. I got some containers. Well, I got to get some containers for my... Really, I need to get it before I go home. Then I may get it this evening. But I want to get my comforter. The, 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 um, the closet that I keep all my comforters at. I want to get containers instead of putting them in plastic bags. Because the other day I was looking for a comforter that I wanted to put on my bed. And it took me going through all of those doggone bags to try to find it. So I thought I did that. And went through all that. I was like, uh-uh. I'm not doing this again. So I won't. I'm gonna get some containers. Y'all know I love containers. If you go back and look my look at my my um closet videos you see I have a thing for, for containers I put everything I either put everything in containers most of the time or I put everything in Ziploc bags one or the other containers and Ziploc bags are my favorite things to store of course the Ziploc bags That's for food and stuff. Y'all, I also got an orange, orange high C drink from McDonald's. So I went from Jack's to um, McDonald's. Mm. It's good too. Y'all, I don't eat a whole lot, but when I do eat, I eat. Anyway, what are you all fixing? What's on the menu? I remember back in the time, New Year's Day, honey, I would be out early, going to find me a little, some some type of little sexy, a little cute, not too sexy, but something that was, you know. Uh, classy but but um sexy so I can wear out or either I already purchased it now I'm doing the the fine, putting the final touches to it. That was back in the time. Getting ready to go out and have a good time. I wasn't a drinker. I'm not a drinker, never have been a drinker, but on New Year's Eve I always got me a either a mixed drink or either a pina colada or something like that. I think it was a pina colada. So I always got me a little something to drink on New Year's Eve. And then I would, then afterwards, you know, the typical thing, after you go out and have a good time, you go and you go to um, one of these little, uh, like Shoney's or someone like that, and get you something to eat. Then you go home and and sleep all day. That's what I did. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Anyway. I'm not going to eat all this. But today. I sure feel like. That I could, but I don't know. Who they gave me a lot of them too. Ooh. And I still got some to go. Some was all falling out the 
out the little container. I'm greedy when I want to be. Mm. Well, y'all, one good thing that I've noticed on YouTube that everything is kind of calming down a little bit. So prayers are definitely being answered. I don't like people in, you know, um, into all kind of mess. Cause really, you don't know how that's gonna go. You don't know what's on people on people in people's head. You don't know whether or not that person gonna snap on you, or you the, you the one, you just the one that just set them completely off. You just don't know. So it's not that I'm a scared person, anything, cause fear that I, I don't live in fear. I try not to live in fear. I just don't like conflict, cause you never know. I don't see people one minute, like I said, they playing, having a good time. Excuse me, having a good time, and then the next minute. They done shot somebody or either they fighting. So I don't see this happen. So that is not a sense of fear. It's just that I know where it can go. If it's not, uh, if you don't let it calm down. And you know, I tell my, my, my young men all the time. I tell all, well, I tell all of them. I tell anybody that I have had some dealings with it's it takes a, a big man a strong man to be able to walk away from somebody that's insulting them or trying to fight them or whatever it takes a big man to be able to walk away from that you know a lot of people say oh no that's weak that's weak no 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 Cause see, in your mind, you may you may have thoughts of just killing this man, just taking him on out right then and there, or they could be thinking the same thing about you. But when you walk away, you saving their life or saving your own life. So I say, props off to any man that can do that. It ain't got to be no wuss. You, you know, you know, it, it's it's not have to be labeled as a wuss. I label that as a strong man that can do that, or a woman that can do that. And a lot of people, but I know that if they had walked away, they would still be here. They would still be here on this earth. But with them not walking away and proving a point, it got them nowhere but either in prison or six feet under. Or however, however, however far, far they, they put them nowadays. So it's not even worth it. Not even worth it. That's just being smart. So, and I, you know what? On New Year's Eve, it's uh, in my time. There have been so many killings around New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. You'll find out this person that got killed, that person that got killed. On those days, mostly it's on holidays because people are drinking and you get a little bit more, you know, get a little bit more nervy or whatever. You know, and really, to be honest with you, you're more vulnerable when you're drinking. You just don't realize. You think you're more tough or whatever. When actually, you're more you're more vulnerable because your thinking is way off. It's you know it's way off. So, so think about all that, y'all. When you when you get ready to go out and have a good time, you know tomorrow night. Think about that. You know, I pray to God that maybe I'm saying something to somebody right now. That maybe what I'm saying could very well save someone's life by just walking off. Maybe they'll just remember 
what I said, and maybe they 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 be strong enough to be able to walk what walk off. But anyway, y'all, I'm about to finish this up. So, I pray to God, everybody, I have a safe and a wonderful, awesome, um, bringing a new year in. But of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk to you some more. We may even go live on New Year's Eve or bring the New Year, new year in. Because we never did that before. So that may be um, a memory that we can have the first year of bringing it in. Maybe just for a few minutes. Anyway, y'all. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to finish eating this. And I'm going to think about going to get my dye. And I'm going to think about going to get those containers. But if I eat too much of this, I may be thinking about uh, going home. But anyway, y'all, I pray that you all have an a awesome, peaceful day. Happy day. It's cloudy here. It looks real dreary. But you know what? Even in that dreariness, I still see some sun shining in. Yes, I do. But anyway, y'all, take care of yourself. And I will, we will see you in the next video. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification button, bell. So you won't miss any of our videos. And we will see you real soon. So keep a watching. Bye, y'all. <laughs>